Sorry about that. How was it? It was fun. Great experience? Yeah, I'm going to be your next uh, rider here. Okay. I don't know if there's going to, is there a room that I could put this in? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll put it in the trunk. It's fine. Okay, I'll let you do that. Thank you. The pressure's over the wheel well right there. Compressed ah, down, okay. Down the right there? Well. Yeah. Okay. Your body, it's kind of lean on It's it. a little bit light there. So. All right. Tight. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right. And get the... Uh, yes. What's happening? Oh, is that Greg? Good to see you, man. Good to know you show up at your own events. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to put this. Yes, no question. I don't know if I can trust you. <laughs> You're not going to crash. We're only going one walk. I heard you guys can pick up the. Uh, what is it? The, uh, I heard you can accelerate in no time in this thing. Well, that's exactly. So we're making one city block in yeah. the okay, so. traffic. And, and, and our driver is? Sean Phillips of Tesla Motors, Washington, D.C. And I think I saw you in the showroom. He probably has. So you've been to uh, a number of these events, I assume. Absolutely. I've actually been in D.C. since last summer. So any events in the D.C. area for Tesla since last June has been me. you got a fun job. It is. It's a pretty good <laughs> desk job to be mm -hmm. sitting behind the wheel like this. Indeed. Now, the last, uh, the first, actually, the first lady that I spoke to was seemed sincere that she really would buy a car, this car. And I, I think you've probably got a lot of fans out there already. We absolutely do. I mean, we already have, I think, over 50 owners in the D.C. area. Mm -hmm. It's near 60, and a lot of those people purchased their car even before we had a store here. Hmm. And the interest has only picked up since we've had a store. But um, it's a great area for being eco-friendly, being accepting of new technology. It's also a great luxury and exotic car market, so we're really excited to be in D.C. Is there a favorite color so far, have you noticed? D.C. tends to be a little more conservative on the color scheme. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of the dark blues and, and really? grays for them. Why as, would you buy a car like this as in a dark blue? I don't know. The last two cars I've sold <laughs> in D.C. have been lightning green, though, which okay. is basically this color. Of sure. It's just bright, bright sure. green. So sure. Some people understand that you might, if you're going to stand out, you might as well go all the way. Can you throw this in your back pocket? I actually was planning on following sure. up with you. Uh, when I visited, I mentioned that I would be doing an interview. So, so you hold on to your computer here. Gotcha. I'm doing a, gotcha. a brief acceleration. All right. Wow, that is fast, Sean. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, I'm turning up to three shades of green here myself. Nice. How fast do you think we're going? We didn't go above 25 miles per hour, though. I so know, you but can we stay were, under the speed limit. Short, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm glad your brakes work in this car. Yeah, the now, brakes are great. <laughs> now, how far can you drive without recharging? 245 miles is the average. Mm -hmm. And that's full freeway speeds, city driving, having a little bit of fun with it. The record is well over 300. We've documented 347 miles. Mm. But we try not to advertise maximum ranges. We want to tell you what you can actually get. And that's 230 or 40. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take it on track, it's going to be much less than that. If you go and have too much fun with it, it can easily get down under 200 miles, even 150. But the way our owners are driving them, and we can actually track this data because the car is a computer on wheels. Mm -hmm. Most people are getting, you know, a good chunk above 200 miles, but they're not driving it that far every day. Mm -hmm. They're driving it 50, 100 miles like you would any car on a given day. I think, um, uh, <laughs> I think I would prefer a four-door, and I understand that there's going to be a four-door coming out pretty soon. We are. The Model S today, and we're going to have our first deliveries of second quarter next year. Mm -hmm. We're likely to have advanced prototypes in our stores late summer, early fall time frame. So later on this year, the world will be having a chance to actually drive in Model S. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be delivering them next year. And it's going to be a great car for us. You're looking at half the price point, not giving up too much on the performance. It's still 5.6 seconds, 0 to 60. Mm -hmm. and so it's really going to open up you know, high-end electric cars for a much broader market. Okay, now this is not necessarily the safest car if you're talking about, I mean, compared to a Volvo or something like that. What happens in, a, in the case of an accident? What's I would a, what's argue safer than a Volvo, actually. Okay. As safe as a Formula One car, we have steel crash cage, we have carbon fiber crash cones, we have unbelievable crash safety testing, we have unbelievable real world scenarios where we've seen some horrific wrecks and no injuries because mm -hmm. the same things that protect Formula One drivers 
when they hit a wall at 200 miles per hour or flip 15 times in the air and they come out and they salute the crowd. <laughs> those, we borrow from Formula One for our safety. So you really get what you pay for when you get a Tesla. They're an unbelievably safe car. Okay, now you brought back this, this kind of uh, steel cage effect over top and that, that seemed to have gone out of fashion well, for a while. Well, this is an NHRA legal mm -hmm. drag race roll bar. So you mm -hmm. can take this straight from the factory and drag race this convertible. So mm -hmm. we don't have you know, little pop-up small metal tubes that protect you like you would in other cars. Mm -hmm. We have a permanent steel roll bar. We have steel two by fours in our doors. We're sitting inside of a solid aluminum chassis. You have the carbon fiber crash structures. You have the airbag. You really have a ton of things in this car to keep you safe. All right, well, you're obviously the right guy for to uh, spread the word. Really appreciate the opportunity to drive around. I don't know if I want to go out on an <laughs> Autobahn with this, because this car is probably going to do, like you said, 125 miles, right? Yeah, so 125 miles per hour on one gear, which is pretty incredible. We yes. don't have to shift, so no transmission means virtually an unbreakable car. You're not going to wear it down over time. You can have as much fun as you want with it without having to replace the transmission. Okay, the Tesla showroom uh, just opened up about a couple of months ago. Yeah, 1050 K Street is mm -hmm. a couple blocks from here, and we're open seven days a week. Okay, and is an appointment necessary if someone it's wants to come by and see? Anybody can walk in and talk about it any day of the week. Okay, come by and see Sean. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Really appreciate the ride. Nice I really do. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you my card.